Hello, uh, my name is Jay Kang, Associate Professor of Entrepreneurship. I had an interview with our OU student majoring in biochemistry. Uh, Michael Bell shared the great ideas how our university students can collaborate with biotech company in Michigan while they study at Oakland University. I hope you enjoy the video. All right, great. Well, so yeah, thank you, Dr. King, for letting me present um, kind of the student organization that I'm starting this year. So we want to call it Oakland University Biotechnology Association. And really, I decided to make this organization uh, following my transition out of being a pre-medical student. Um, I realized that I wasn't interested in the clinical aspect of science, and I took me about a two-year hiatus uh, in my schooling to kind of decide where it was that I wanted to go for my future. And in my journey, I wasn't able to leverage uh, many resources from Oakland University because um, there simply weren't any institutions or any programs in place to help me learn more about the industry side of biotechnology and some of my options within the scientific industries that don't include hard technical work. And so um, I wanted to create this program, uh, OUBA for short, for Oakland University Biotechnology Association. And I plan for this to be a career development focused student organization. So uh, there are really three things that I want to focus on um, to help students develop their careers. Um, and so the first one would be to educate them, then to engage them in activities and to empower them to start their career in the right foot. And so for education, I think it's going to be really important that we focus on um, staying up to date with industry and learning some of their options, because a lot of students aren't even aware of some of their career choices outside of the immediate academic pathways. And so uh, some of the examples of things that we're planning on doing would be to have career panels and speakers come in uh, from industry, from the university uh, and elsewhere. We wanna be able to have professional workshops so students can work one-on-one -on -one with either professionals or alumni to understand where they are and where they want to go and maybe get an idea of some of the things they need to work on, as well as being able to be provided with industry reports and highlights so that they can stay up to date on the industry and so that they can get an understanding of how they can keep up to date once they graduate. The other thing is that we wanna keep them in, students engaged. And so uh, two big things would be the community. So students can, be inter can interact with students of other organizations through collaborative efforts. And students can also be, uh, can find other students who share similar interests and maybe come from different backgrounds. And so we can help everyone get an understanding of kind of the industry from other people's perspectives, as well as through experiential learning, where students can uh, find meaningful work in industry. And uh, there are, we have a list of plans for things to do, including uh, old case studies and other types of uh, free work that we might be able to establish with industry that could help students uh, get exposure to real problems. The last thing is, we want to empower students uh, to start their career right. And so uh, there are really three big things. We want to help students get connections, practice with networking uh, through the industry outreach that we'll be doing on behalf of the organization. We want to make sure that students stay on the right track as they progress through the university and start their own careers uh, post-graduation. And so this way we can keep tallies on where do you want to go and what have you done. And the third is achievement. And so we want to be able to empower students to accomplish things that maybe they would not have had they not have had a community to support them and had they not have been aware of certain milestones that they could reach that would be valued by employers. So really what we want to do is we want to bring biotechnology to Oakland U. And so um, published from a database online, there are roughly a hundred companies in Michigan that focus on biopharma and therapeutics. There is a projected, uh, global projected $526 billion biopharma industry by 2025, 
But yet at OU, there are zero degree programs, zero career development programs, zero internship programs, and zero student organizations in the biotechnology space. And so what we want is one centralized program for biotech career development through Oakland University. And we think that creating a student organization to demonstrate the demand for such a program is necessary to get this off the ground. So what have we done already? We've already reached out to students, faculty, and uh, many organizations within Oakland University to get an idea of who might be interested and what they might want to see. We've also interacted with students from other universities. Um, we've done various benchmarking techniques to being able to understand what some of these other universities are doing and how it's been how it has affected the students at those universities. And so the things that we're going to be starting very soon is to reach out to other departments at the university, including career services, honors college, um, et cetera, as well as the OU incubator to be able to understand what places, what things are in place for students who do have that interest and who are looking for that career support, uh, who might not have gone through the department similar to myself. We're also going to reach out to industry to start getting connections and to start establishing um, OUBA as a, a space for students to uh, get this understanding, as well as various communities that are in place in Michigan. There's MishBio and the Ann Arbor Spark. Uh, for startups in that area. So really, we, we think that there are going to be three big areas of challenges for creating the student organization. So the first one we called reception. The, main, the big thing is that our program is new to the university. And so um, there are various concerns with student and administrative openness to accepting something that they may not have a deep understanding on. And so that combined with uh, various safety concerns with the pandemic, uh, we're trying to establish ways to get this program started that uh, are going to be most effective in the future. Growth. So what we're really focusing on is trying to find ways to recruit students and retain them through various programs and incentives that are attractive to students who may be uh, on a busy time schedule and may not want to join uh, five or six organizations. Another thing is we want the right executive leadership to be able to uh, push forward the vision of the student organization. And we want to be able to establish successful relationships with uh, various industry partners. The final point is sustainability. I am in my senior year, and so when I graduate, um, I, we want to be able to make sure that the organization can progress and see this through. And so one of the big things that uh, we're looking for on our board is a strong leader who's in their sophomore or junior year who can keep this going. Um, and we also need to be able to maintain the relationships that we will be forming this fall uh, with institutional and industrial partners. And we see this growth happening really in three phases. The first phase would be to establish our organization, to get it off the ground, and to create our uh, industry, student, and faculty support. Then we're going to really focus on recruiting. We want to bring as many students in as possible uh, and to be able to grow the organization and to develop that demand that will be necessary for our third step, which is translation, to be able to demonstrate to administration that there is a student body that is interested in biotechnology that is willing uh, to work and to grow as professionals and to establish a next generation of leadership uh, in biotechnology in the industry. And the specific next steps uh, are as follows. So form an executive board, uh, gather our support, establish our relationships, and to begin planning our events. And so this is what I had. This was the citation for the few uh, points that I had on my previous slides. I think that the university education must be transformed rapidly due to the new normal. Previously, educators provide the lectures based on the existing theories and cases, and the students learned what the teachers expect to study. 
However, in the new normal, students will have to teach themselves what they have to learn and how they can acquire the key knowledge as they expose to the new environment. Given this, there is no single path in the university education, but multiple different interaction between faculty, students, and companies create the better educational resources. Thank you for watching this video. I wish all the best for your entrepreneurial journey.